Hello, my friends. Welcome back to Prophetic with Suzanne. I am coming in with a quick word out of Isaiah 54. And I've been meditating on this for a little while, but I feel like the Lord wanted me to share it with some of you. And it says, For the mountains shall depart, and the hills be removed, but my kindness shall not depart from you nor shall my covenant of peace be removed, says the Lord who has mercy on you. You know, God is so merciful to us. He is so good. But I feel like there's some of you right now that you may be struggling and you may feel like you've lost your peace, you know, but he says right here that his covenant of peace shall not be removed. So it's not the Lord, you know, the enemy tries to come all the time and lie to us and take our peace. Or we allow our own thinking, we allow our own thinking to get in the way sometimes. We all do it. I have to remind myself. But, you know, in John 14, you know, Jesus talks about giving us the gift of peace. So you might just feel like some things have been removed in your life. You know, a lot of us have been thrown out of our comfort zones a lot lately, too. God is shifting and changing things. But that's why it says, The mountains shall depart, and the hills be removed, but my kindness shall not depart from you. God is not withholding from you. He says He will not withhold any good thing from His children. His kindness is still there and his peace will not be removed because he is faithful. You know, God doesn't break any part of his covenant ever. He loves you and he is your strength. He's got all the peace that you need right now to tap right back into that peace in Jesus name. He loves you and he has mercy on all of us. He is a good father. So I pray that this blesses the right ones today and that your peace be restored in Jesus' name because God is for you and not against you. And may you experience his kindness, his love, and his peace in Jesus' name. So I love you guys. And if these messages are ministering to y'all and anybody feels led to sow a seed into my ministry, my information is in the description. I always pray that God will multiply the seeds that you sow and increase the fruits of your righteousness. A hundredfold returns in Jesus' name. So I love you guys and I'm praying for you and I'll be back soon.